Do you guys know anything about vitamins? I don't know about you, but when I walk into a store, I am so overwhelmed and confused, I do not even know what I should be taking. Well, today I'm at the vitamin shop and I'm gonna be joined by a nutritionist who's gonna help us break it all down. Any woman needs a multivitamin. Um, first of all, why is it important for us to take it? Well, typically it's hard to get all your essential nutrients through just diet alone. So it's important really to use a multivitamin to fill gaps in your diet. So can you explain um, the different forms and who they're good for? Sure, well there are pills, mm -hmm. it can be a hard tablet if someone has trouble swallowing a tablet. We offer capsules which have the powder ground up inside so it's a little bit easier to swallow. Okay. But we also have liquid forms of multivitamins that you can put into a smoothie for example. So when looking at the label and I see all the nutrients, what exactly am I looking for? You're looking for well, make sure it has all the vitamins and minerals in there at at least 100% of the daily value or 100%, more. 100% or more of the daily value. So is it important to take a vitamin after you eat or can you take them on an empty stomach? There are certain nutrients, certain vitamins and minerals that require fat for absorption or even stomach acid for complete digestion. So it's very important to take a multi after a meal to absorb those specific nutrients. So I've been hearing a lot about omega-3s. Can you tell me what they are and why they're so important? And they're very important for brain health, cardiovascular health. Ideally, you'd like to get it from eating cold water fish, such as wild-caught salmon or tuna. A liquid omega-3 supplement or even a soft gel um, taken each day can help you provide you those important omega-3s that can help protect your body. And everybody says you need to take a probiotic. Is that true? And what do they do for you? The most important thing about digestive health is getting enough fiber in your diet. Okay. Fruits and vegetables and high fiber whole grains. Without a lot of fiber, without adequate fiber, the healthy bacteria doesn't tend to grow in your intestinal tract to provide the benefits. Most nutrients are measured through milligrams, micrograms, and grams. Mm -hmm. With probiotics, you have to look for CFU, or colony forming units. Okay. And it can range from two to five billion up to 100 billion. So if I want to take 100 billion CFUs of probiotics, do you think I'm crazy? Uh, that's a little high. <laughs> okay. Unless you have, you know, digestive issues. But for the for, for the average person, a smaller amount would be fine. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. I learned so much, and I hope you did too. For more on everything beauty and wellness, check out JanineMorris.com.